money in the bank. The second and final day of Own to Own Tokyo 2019 is in the books, and much like day one, some great research was put on display. The day began somewhat quietly as Team Floro Acetate withdrew their entry targeting the baseband component of the Oppo F11 Pro handset. Instead, they moved straight to the Samsung Galaxy S10 in the same category. Their rogue base station used a stack overflow to push their file onto the target handset. A successful demonstration earned them $50,000 and five Master of Phone points. This is the third year in a row the Samsung handset has been compromised via baseband. In their penultimate entry of the contest, Richard and Amat turned their attention to the LAN interface of the Netgear Nighthawk Smart Wi-Fi Router. They were able to successfully demonstrate their research. However, their auth bypass had been used by a previous contestant's entry. This makes this attempt only a partial win. Next up, Pedro Ribeiro and Radek Domjanski of Team Flashback continued their run on wireless routers by targeting the WAM port of the TP-Link AC1750 Smart Wi-Fi Router. They used a stack overflow combined with a logic bug to gain code execution on the device. This earned them $20,000 and one more point towards Master of Home. They wrap up their first home to own with a total of $50,000 and four successful demonstrations. We certainly hope this is just the beginning of a long and prosperous home to own career. The team from F Secure Labs, which includes Mark Barnes, Toby Drew, Max Van Emeranjen, and James Luderiero, began their second day of the competition also by targeting the WAN interface of the TP-Link AC1750 Smart Wi-Fi Router. They combined a command ejection bug along with some insecure defaults to gain code execution on the device. They also put their LED light skills on display by having the front of the router play the snake game for us. Style points aside, this successful demonstration earned them $20,000 and one more Master of Phone point. In their final entry for the contest, the F-Secure Labs team targeted the Xiaomi Mi9 handset via the NFC component. In order to exfiltrate the photo from the phone, they tapped it to their specially crafted NFC tag. That triggered a cross-site scripting bug in the NFC component and sent a picture to a different phone that they controlled. This effort earned them $30,000 and three master of phone points. That brings their contest total to $70,000 and puts them in second place in the master of phone standings. The final entry of the contest put the fluoroacetate duo targeting the web browser of the Samsung Galaxy S10. They employed an integer overflow along with a UAF for the sandbox escape to exfiltrate a picture off the phone. While their demonstration was successful, it turns out a part of their bug chain had been used by a previous contestant. Still, it was great to see the contest come to a close without any failed entries. That brings our contest to a close, and with $195,000 and 18 and a half points, the fluoroacetate duo of Richard Zhu and Amat Kama retained their title of Master of Pwn, their third in a row. They also picked up some more fancy garments to add to their wardrobe, as the Master of Pwn jackets fit perfectly. Overall, we awarded more than $315,000 over the two-day contest while purchasing 18 different bugs in the various products. On-site vendors have received the details of these bugs and now have 90 days to produce security patches to address the bugs we've reported. That wraps up Pwn to Own Tokyo for 2019. It's been a great couple of days and we've seen some amazing research. Follow us on Twitter and we look forward to seeing you at our next Pwn to Own contest, which takes place in sunny Miami Beach, Florida. Our focus shifts away from consumer electronics to industrial control systems. We hope to see you there.